A Kentucky town is evacuated after a train derailment carrying sulfur is breached. Let's discuss. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Coffee Rant with Dano. Tonight, we are drinking the 100% Colombian Kroger coffee. It's pretty good coffee. If you have to hit pause on this video to get your coffee together, have coffee with us tonight. Happy Thanksgiving. Not so much a happy Thanksgiving for 200 people in Livingston, Kentucky, which is the southern eastern part of uh, Kentucky. We have a train that has derailed two of the cars carrying sulfur that have been breached. So Andy Brashear, governor of Kentucky, has uh, ordered an evacuation. Uh, it's about 200 people, a uh, population of 200 um, and we are kind of going off of CBS's website here. It's all over the place. I kind of look at all different sites to see which one is laid out better. This time, CBS won as far as uh, most information anyway. So, and a lot of the local news has been covering it as well uh, in eastern Kentucky. So, I'll tell you what, guys, it's sad. Day before Thanksgiving, and this happened just after 2.30 p.m. Wednesday. So I didn't have much time to get out of there. Uh, one thing I will say is that they're reacting to this fast. Not like the East Palestine thing that took forever for them to figure all this out. It seems like they are reacting on this very quickly, which I do appreciate. Um, however, it is sad, and all of our thoughts and prayers go out to all the families involved. Happy Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Um, I really had to do this video because we have people in Eastern Kentucky, uh, and not just for our viewers, but I know a couple of our longtime viewers live in Eastern Kentucky. One, I do believe, lives in the Livingston area. So our thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, we're going to read a little bit of, about what's going on here. So Andy Bashir has issued a state of emergency, allowing them more tools and more things to help with this situation. So that's good. And they didn't hesitate to do this. Um, so the train derailed and spilled chemicals in a remote part of Eastern Kentucky on Wednesday, prompting officials to encourage residents of a small town to evacuate Livingston, Kentucky. Uh, Governor Andy Bashir said in a statement that local officials in Rock Castle County were encouraging residents of Livingston with a population of 200 to evacuate. So encouraging isn't really mandatory, I guess, but yeah, get out of there. Uh, sulfur leak is no joke. Um, and, and I'll tell you what, guys, these train derailments are getting out of hand, getting out of hand. You know, we're better than this. We need to re- think and rebuild these things. All this money and everything that's going around for different things, we need to take care of our train tracks. They are our, our arteries that go through the country and supply us with all of the different goods that we need in life to function, right? I mean, next to truck drivers and everything, they are our main source of getting our goods to where they got to go. We have got to work on this. Um, and when I first, I, I was driving down the road and I heard this story on the radio and I'm thinking to myself, you know, it's Thanksgiving. Not a lot of people have the radios on probably this morning. We need to get this out. We do reach a lot of people on this channel and wanted to make sure that we were talking about this. Um, and, and I feel so bad for the families, especially right before Thanksgiving. Boy, I'll tell you. And there was a lady who was crying. They had an interview with a lady who was crying and saying, you know, they'll get through this, that they still have things to be thankful for. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, I just, a heavy heart today because it is Thanksgiving, but I wanted to make sure that I got this out here as fast as I possibly could for you guys. Um, and, you know, in case anybody else is involved, if you don't have any other source, you know, most people these days watch things online. Uh, if we're able to reach you on our channel, that is our mission. That is what we do, you know, and, and always to keep you in the know. Um, so they go on to say in a news release, railroad operator, this is CSX, uh, said that the derailment, CSX said that the derailment occurred a little before 2.30 p.m. local time north of Livingston and involved at least 16 cars. This is another thing I don't like, and this is why I, you know, they always put this information out here because 
I was reading before that it was 15 cars. And I know, yeah, okay, maybe an extra car got added. But it's just, get all of the information, right? Get it all right, right away. So it's 16 cars. I wouldn't be surprised if tonight it's 17 or 18 cars. So I'll t we'll just go on. I'm not going to let myself get worked up over on Thanksgiving. It is Thanksgiving morning. I'm going to be putting this video out in the afternoon as fast as I can. Uh, so we'll just go on to, um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I get the information right. This happened yesterday. There shouldn't be anything talking about 15 cars. It's 16 cars involved. Two were carrying the sulfur that were breached. Uh, two cars containing sulfur were, quote, breached, end quote, and some of the sulfur caught fire. CSX said, uh, indicting uh, that sulfur dioxide gas was being released into the air. Yeah, you don't want to breathe that. You might get a little tingly feeling in your lungs if you do. Sulfur dioxide is no joke. None of it is. Anyway, the company was conducting air quality testing in the area. Quote, CS, CSX quotes... Uh, we will work together with the local authorities to secure the area and safety is our top priority as we develop a recovery plan. Okay, so they are on top of it. I, I will say that. They're, they're, they're working on it. I mean, that's all you can do at this point. Uh, one crew member, there were two crew members from what I understand. One crew member was treated at the scene for minor injuries. Um, a Red Cross... Emergency shelter was opened at a local middle school, the station said. Um, CSX also said it would be covering the cost of hotel rooms for residents in the town of Mount Vernon. That's cool. That's awesome. It, I, hopefully everybody is just safe, and that's something to be thankful for. I, I don't even know what to say in these kind of situations. My heart and thoughts and prayers go out to every one of you. Um Bashir also declared state of emergency. We went over that quote by issuing state of emergency. We are ensuring that every state resource is available to help keep our families safe, Bashir said. Uh, he urged people to avoid the area to allow state and local officials to respond. Uh, it was not immediately clear how extensive the spill was or what impact it might have on the environment in the remote area. The sheriff and local judge executive didn't immediately respond to emails seeking further comment. You want to get your, I understand, you want to make sure all the facts are straight. I kind of appreciate that, right? You don't want to just come out and say things that aren't true or possibly not true. You want to make sure you get all the information before you start talking about things because one, you're going to be scaring a lot of people, right? You want to make sure that it's all right, it's all correct, right? You want to make sure it's true. You want to make sure every, you know, all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed, right? You know? Uh, according to the American Lung Association, exposure to sulfur dioxide can cause respiratory issues su such as shortness of breath and long-term exposure can be especially hazardous to children and elderly and those with asthma. And that is it for this article, but I want to go on a little bit here to talk about our infrastructure, guys. It is like every day... We're hearing of new train derailments every couple of days. I mean, guys, it is crazy. This is absolutely nuts. We have to figure these things out. It has to be worked on. We have to do something now. We can't just keep putting it off and saying, well, that was just unlucky or this was this, this was that. No, it has to start getting done. This is terrible. This is terrible. I mean, here we are, you know, if it, here we are on Thanksgiving Day. And these families are spending, spending it in a hotel room. And, and, you know, and I know that we, we have a lot to be thankful for. And we do, we do. And we, and we can, we can find solace in, in being with our families. And hopefully everyone has their families with them to help them through this trying time. But guys, I'm telling you right now, with these whirlwind of events that just keep happening, we have to make sure that we're sticking true to one thing. And that's togetherness. And if I have to say, you know, if I if I can say anything to help um, make that easier for today, let's be thankful that we have each other. Let's be thankful we have each other and our families and our friends and, and stick together. Because sticking together during these times is what's most important. 
when when things go bad, it's it, you are better in a group than you are by yourself. You know, and it's good to um, think of these things, you know, as a reminder that, you know, things will get better. You know, and this is a this is a trying time for these families right now. And um, I just, you know, again, our thoughts and prayers are with you. Um, let us all, you know, leave your comments down below. I, I just think this is such a sad situation, right? Right before the holiday. It's a sad situation every time something like this happens. It's a terrible situation. It shouldn't be happening. You know, maybe maybe we need more inspectors, more security for these trains, these derailments that have been happening. I, I mean, I hear everything. It's, it's anything from brakes on the train that they, you know, brake systems. Like, why, how is that an issue? This, this is 2023. Shouldn't we have all this down? And I know train derailments happen, but it's happening way too much. And I know we probably have more trains on the rails than we ever have before, right? Probably in the history of, of mankind, right? But I mean, guys, it's something we have to work on. It's, it's, it's something that is fixable that isn't getting fixed, right? We're hearing about these every week. There, there's probably another one going on while we're talking. I remember when we were covering the East Palestine train derailment. There was another train derailment that happened while I was doing that video. How sickening is that? I felt terrible. Like people were leaving in the comments, did you hear about this train derailment? And I'm like, my goodness. Like I can't even get through a video for another train derailment happens. Knock on wood, that doesn't happen on Thanksgiving here. Hopefully everybody's just taking a day off. You know, maybe that's what the world needs. Maybe we need to just all take a day off and breathe and then start working these problems out. I don't know anything about trains. I don't know anything about rails. I don't know anything about how most of it works. Maybe some, just from research. But guys, we need to start focusing on fixing these problems. This is happening too much, even if we can narrow the problem down to a fourth of what it is now, at least that decreases the chances of this happening. Now, I understand, you know, building a new railroad is easier said than done. Don't know if you can fix the old railroad, but I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's something we can do, something we can do. Anyway, that is the news for your Thanksgiving night. Uh, unfortunately, it is sad news for 200 families out there or 200 people. So that could be could maybe be small. I don't know. But a town population of 200 in Livingston. Again, I, I just, I well, it's just make sure you stay far away from the train. Sulfur dioxide is no joke. You do not want to be breathing that in. Uh, and I guess, I you know, the leaking into a river maybe. That could be, that could damage water supply for a little while. So I would wait for further updates. This is still not even 24 hours, not even about 15 hours since this has happened. So, you know, if you live near that area, I would definitely pay attention. Make sure that you are checking uh, with your local news um, and beyond. Maybe uh, different people that are involved to make sure that it's safe. And um, I don't know how long it'll take, but, you know, just... Fight through it. You know, happy Thanksgiving to everyone. Uh, if you are having, hopefully everyone has had a great Thanksgiving. I, I hate delivering sad news on Thanksgiving, but these are things that we cover here on this channel, and I want to make sure that everybody is kept in the know. Guys, thank you so much for watching today. Have a great night.